We're spending a lot of time in Cisco WebEx meetings these days, and there's a couple of things you can do if you want to share music in your WebEx meetings or improved audio like YouTube videos and whatnot. So I think of two different situations. The first situation is uh, you have an acoustic guitar and you want to play a song for someone. So that's audio in the room you want to improve. The second situation is audio on your computer that you want to share. Like maybe it's a YouTube video or maybe it's like some walk-in music while people are uh, arriving to your room, to your meeting, you're playing some music as they walk in. So let me show you those two two techniques. Um, the first is, let's just say, acoustic guitar in the room. So you want to improve room audio. Go over here to the down arrow next to the mute button and um, go to settings. So you want to get to your audio settings. And then at the very bottom of audio settings, there's this button called music mode, or a little checkbox. And we check music mode on. So when music mode is on, it uh, preserves the original sound. It turns off like echo canceling and stuff like that. So um, that's great for when you're playing music. Not so great when you're just talking to people. So if you use this, just use it for when you're playing music and then switch it off when you're done. You can tell it's on because there's a little icon up here of uh, musical notes up here in the top right corner. Uh, I'm going to turn it off now. You see the icon went away. Okay, so keep that on only when you are playing audio in the room. Um, your it opens up your microphone basically and doesn't do anything weird to the microphone to try to decrease like sounds of people um, crinkling up paper or breathing or whatever it does to make it sound better. Um, okay, the second technique is let's say you want to play some music for people as they come into your event. Uh, go down here to share. Click the share button. And then you have to, every time you do this, I've already had it selected, but when you when you first launch this, it's going to say optimize for text and images. And you need to use this drop down menu and select optimize for motion and video. Um, once you select that, you'll see there's a, little, a new little box here that shows up and says share your computer audio. So make sure that's checked and share your screen. Don't share any of these down here. I wouldn't. I would just share your screen, and along with your screen, anything that's going on in your computer. If you're playing music on screen two, uh, screen one, it doesn't matter. Just share your screen, and any music that's playing on your computer will come out. Um, it's not like the music is associated with one of your screens. I have screen two screens. You might only see one screen. Um, but if you share an application like PowerPoint, then you decide you want to minimize PowerPoint and open up a YouTube video, then the audio is not going to pass through the YouTube video. But if you share the screen, it shares all the audio associated with your computer. Um, yeah, that's that's how I do it. So what I'll usually do is I'll share a PowerPoint slide. And then on my other screen, I have uh, iTunes or I'm sorry, Apple Music pulled up and I'll play songs uh, while people are loading in. So I've got my DJ stuff basically over here and then what they're seeing over here. Um, that's how I do it. Um, uh, one thing before I go, this uh, pertains to Cisco WebEx meetings not Cisco WebEx events. If you're using Cisco WebEx events, good luck getting any music through that. I haven't had any luck with that. Um, but maybe, you know, it's it's right now it's October 27th, 2020. So maybe in the future, they'll release an update that allows you to do some of these cool audio features in events. But right now it's just in WebEx meetings.